microphones around the room. So who, who's got a question first? I'll take it. Uh, on two here, right in the front row in the green. Ty, starting with you since you hit the, <laughs> get the game winner from half court for the skills challenge. Take me through that moment and what it felt like to, to have that happen. Uh, felt good. Felt good. Uh, there was a lot of energy in the building. A lot of people wanted to see us succeed. So, um, yeah, feels good to win. Who among you three, if, if maybe the answer was just watching the first team, was the master of the use get two balls to pass uh, to win the tiebreaker? I heard a fan. He was like, oh, get two balls. <laughs> and uh, which round was the most challenging for you guys? Obviously, the, the one shooting, you lost. Yeah. We to, I was going to bridge. I think each of you guys said you didn't know what this was going to entail uh, coming in. I guess at what point did you figure out what it was going to entail? Did you kind of figure it out on the fly? And uh, what what do you think just made it work across the board for you guys? They told us during walkthrough, we got a little walkthrough uh, before, so they just told us about the first round, but we didn't know what the passing or the shooting looked like. Um, we just felt like we probably had the best team chemistry just because we're actually teammates. So I think we'll use that to our benefit. Miles, over the last couple of weeks, you talked a couple of different times about embracing this opportunity, being the city's ambassador, to do that off the court and then on the court win in front of 35,000 fans, probably 90% cheering for the Pacers. What does this mean for you? Uh, it's just cool, man. It's just, uh, you know, it's a really glorified moment at that. You know, it's bring home from hardware and uh, being a part of All-Star Weekend and festivities, um, you know, off the floor, just making an impact just around them and uh, just continuing to invite more and more people. Uh, welcome, you know, just Indianapolis itself. Scott, I'll, go to, I'll go to Ben. A lot of these are individual, but you guys did this one together. How much more special does that make it because of it? Uh, it, makes it, it makes it fun. It makes it fun, you know, going against, you know, them and, you know, us winning, you know, the CS Challenge, a great thing, not only for us, you know, but the whole, you know, the whole city of, you know, the fight over here. So. And Miles, last night Ben guaranteed his, you guaranteed this one. What gave you that confidence for tonight? Uh, the energy in the building was solid, man. Obviously, he kicked a lot of things off last night. I held it down for us over there, so, um, you know, it was cool. I think it was cool just to, um, you know, be in that environment and uh, obviously come out with the win. In, uh, in the middle? Thanks. Ty, I know you've been crazy busy this whole week, but how, where does this moment, winning this trophy with your teammates, rank with all the stuff that you guys have been through this weekend? Uh, number one, number one so far. Um, at the end of the day, this weekend is about basketball, and uh, when we got to a basketball event, we were able to win, so this has been number one for, for me so far. I mean, I don't know if Ben would agree, but Paul's probably good. Totally, 100%. Sure. Cap. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> home cooking this is going to be easy for you guys how did you feel the crowd really give you the energy from the relay and through all the other skills competitions yeah we just felt like um there was a lot of energy in the building um you hear it in our intros how loud the crowd gets and that's exciting for us to be a part of and um, this whole weekend has just been exciting for us to be a part of. I think we all can agree that, you know, being able to do stuff in the community, doing uh, brand activations, all that stuff has been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, good for people to, you know, see our city for, for what it is rather than, you know, when they come here, they don't really go out because, you know, we might play the next day or whatever, can actually, you know, enjoy enjoy the city for what it is. Fourth round, this time. Ben, last night you were in full attack mode and talking trash. Today, once again, you're just going all out for this competition. Just what is it about you that makes you just want to compete no matter what it is? Uh, it's a great question. I just don't see you know, the purpose of coming out here and not trying to win. Um, so, I mean, you know, I, I, get, I, get, I get to say I'm undefeated. You know, I mean, twice, it's two years in a row. I'm in the, you know, Rising Stars game. Now I'm in the Skills Challenge, you know, what's next? So you know, I'm really excited for, you know, for us going back into the season. Miles, you've been around a lot of guys. What is it about Ben that is just that attack mindset and just the way he is where he just wants to win no matter what he's doing? He's a dog, man. Like, some people are just born that way. I think he's just naturally, you know, born for the moment. You know, he's competitive. He shows man that just um, able to go out there and do what he's to do. And it's not just for, I'm sure this is him every single day, you know. And um, you got to have guys like that around you and on your team. You know, it's easy just to... You know, have a consistent, you know, line energy. You went in front for all three of you guys. What was that court like to play on between the relays, the shooting? Was it distracting? Was it cool? Um, what did you guys experience out there? I thought it was pretty cool, honestly. You know, it didn't really you know, bother me. You know, um, I feel like 
I kind of play a full 48 minute game like that, but uh, you know, 48 minutes. So I thought it was cool. Some it would probably look great on TV, you know, for the fans. So you know, I wasn't mad at it. We're here on the left side. I think you guys have aspirations of winning some bigger things here in a couple months. How much has this weekend gotten you excited for potentially the crowds of the playoffs coming up? Great question. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, I think that it's exciting for us. Obviously, we were able to play in some high stakes competitive basketball earlier in the year um, that had a playoff like feel, and we saw how, how our crowd can get him. I think everybody can acknowledge that, you know, when watching that game against Boston, the energy in our building was, you know, second to none. So, um, you know, I think this, that, as well as this and, and, and bringing fans out, and we all have aspirations to get into the playoffs this year and compete for that. So uh, this just makes us want it more. And you see all the Pacers fans coming out to everything we're doing, supporting us, not only in these events, but our brand activations and all that stuff. And it means the world to us. So, you know, we just want to repay that by playing the right way and uh, getting the playoffs and playing some high stakes basketball. Here, Tyler, what was it like to go from straight from this to the three point contest? And just how did you feel about your just overall performance in that? Uh, I thought it would give me a, an advantage, uh, but I missed. I don't know. I don't know. It just wasn't my day. It wasn't my day. So I'm going to try again next year. I'm just, I think I'm just going to keep coming back until they, they don't allow me to. And eventually I'm just going to win one. And then I'm going to retire after that. But I ain't going to stop coming back. I'm, I'm, I'm eventually I'm going to win one. Any one of the final questions? All right, thanks, guys.